including for the UNHCR. This is a disappointing judgment, and we will seek permission to appeal it. We hope that the process will be swift, and I am glad that the Court of Appeal has recognised in paragraph 16 of its summary judgment that this is an important consideration that should be timely dealt, dealt with in a timely fashion. This judgment is disappointing for the majority of the British people, who have repeatedly yeah. voted for controlled migration, and for all those who want to see us deliver on our moral and democratic imperative to stop the boats. Now, Mr Speaker, I'm sure that all members of this House would agree that the British people are compassionate, reasonable and fair-minded. Since 2015, we have welcomed half a million people in need from all over the world via our global safe and legal routes, as well as via our country-specific routes encompassing Ukraine, Hong Kong, Afghanistan and Syria. But they are not naive, Mr Speaker. While our compassion to help people may be infinite, the public understand that our capacity to do so is finite and therefore precious. The British people will no longer indulge the polite fiction that we have a duty or infinite capacity to support everyone in the world who is fleeing persecution, nor anyone that would simply like to come here to improve their lot and succeeds in making it to our shores. That abuse is unfair on local communities forced to absorb thousands of illegal arrivals and the pressure on public services and social cohesion that this entails. It is unfair on taxpayers who foot the hotel bill currently running to £6 million a day that could rise to £32 million a day by 2026 for people who have broken into this country. It is unfair on those who play by the rules and who want to see an asylum system that is fit for purpose, that our current system is exploited and turned against us by those with no right to be in the UK. It is unfair on those most in need of protection, in particular women, children and those without the money to pay the people smugglers, that our asylum system is overwhelmed by fit young men who have paid criminals thousands of pounds to smuggle them into the UK. And it is unfair, Mr Speaker, on people and our partners in the developing world that we in the West continue to maintain an asylum seeker system so open to abuse that it incentivises mass flows of economic migration into Europe, lining the pockets of people smugglers and turning our seas into graveyards, all in the name of a phony humanitarianism. Mm. This is madness, Mr Speaker, and it must end.